Hi, I've made some alterations from part 5. I've moved the pedals forward to help the CG and to bring my legs down. This means I can now rest my wrist on my leg for extra cyclic stability. I made and bolted on a sighting aid to help the learning process. I fitted the hour meter and installed longer four and a half skids. These are now four meters instead of the previous three meters. I've also changed the throttle to conventional pull up to go up. These were all ideas from video comments, so thanks for this. I decided to buy a crack testing kit and tested the new drive part from video four. Nothing was detected, so I'm happy to continue using it, but I'll keep monitoring the part. So the first test of the day and the exhaust manifold has broken completely. This isn't a quick fix, so back to the workshop for a few days. The manifold is fixed and back for more testing. I'm wondering what else is going to break, but it's holding together at the moment. So things are improving and here I nearly managed a 30 second hover, which was a big improvement over my previous best of 6 seconds. This is your captain speaking. Thanks for joining us today on this Dixie Air flight from the field to the field. Our cruising altitude today will be around 1 foot at an approximate flight time of 1 minute 30 seconds. Please keep your seatbelt fastened and your seat in the upright position during takeoff and landing. In the very likely event of an accident, the emergency exit is everywhere. This is a non-smoking flight, but refreshments will be available from our cabin crew once we hit cruising altitude. Our in-flight movie today will be the 2001 George Montesi film Turbulence 3. If the weather cooperates, we should have a good view of the field as we come into land. On the behalf of Dixie Air, I'd like to thank you for joining us today and wish you a safe and pleasant flight. As you can see, the helicopter is still tethered, but they are very long now so they don't interfere. They are not for my safety, but are for the safety of others. I feel I'm getting there with learning how to hover, but I'm not there yet. There is also a problem with the helicopter tape on the leading edge of the blades. It keeps getting damaged. By what? I don't know. I need to replace the tape with a thicker gauge material. Also, the engine isn't being cooled effectively, the battery isn't being charged, and I still need to fix the CV boot problem. When you think you've finished a project like this, in reality, you've only got halfway through. But all good fun, eh?